Welcome to Big Braids and Crypto. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Taking a look at Jasmine and a few other coins to continue the night. Well, let's get it started. Take a look at Jasmine. Jasmine did get affected by a uh, BTC sale action that happened today. We definitely, uh, we, a lot of the coins came under the 786. Jasmine's held pretty good. It's holding above uh, 0 0.0730, or actually it's under, but it's actually at 0.729. Taking a look at that. So uh, we definitely could be, it's 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 testing that support pretty good at the 786. If we do lose that support, we're definitely looking at 0 0.0607. And uh, I did put this, uh, the lower numbers as far as Jasmine goes. Uh, you know, we don't really know how low Jasmine can, can go when jasmine came on the scene basically was holding at about 7.07 uh, .07, basically right where it's at now uh so is 0.0254 on the table it could possibly be especially if btc does get any more dippy action going on uh we'll definitely <laughs> definitely getting a lot of sale action and everything so i look at everything as opportunity because at those prices you just can't beat those uh, <laughs> so and uh you know if if, if i can possibly buy the floor that's you know that's an amazing feat right there so a lot of money to be made and you know off some awesome sales so i'm definitely looking at that so but you always got to remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinion those opinions on the market only and uh, you always got to do what's right for you so uh keep an eye on those prices as far as jasmine we still got uh point one one seven nine as far as some breakout action to the to the upside so keep an eye on that we could get some sideways action which is uh basically basically what jasmine's been doing over the past couple of weeks here so uh keep an eye on that let's uh, let's move on to the next coin we've got uh let's take a look here now alcx alcx is making some moves still it looks like it's still getting bullish as heck out here so uh definitely testing the top at 364 uh 79 and uh it's it's pushing through there it's it's really setting up for the next go so uh alcx is making some moves if it does get rejected uh definitely looking for some pullback down to the 618 uh for some accumulation and then the next move up uh doesn't look like uh, alcx really got affected too bad for the sale on btc so uh, must have some pretty good action in alcx so uh good luck to everybody in there uh, if we do get some major pullback you know uh for continuation to the upside uh, it has to keep that support above 258 at the, you know at the 786 uh, for some accumulation next move up uh definitely if it, if it basically gets through the 66 364 uh, resistance definitely looking for this scenario to start uh playing out and uh, as far as some uh price action for the next move up we are definitely looking at Once we can get over that 394, 393 mark, uh, you know, it's just a, could be a straight shot straight to 512. So does it make it that high? That remains to be seen. You know, that scenario is playing out right now. So uh, definitely got to keep an eye on that. We'll take a look at it tomorrow, see where ELCX is. So everybody that's in ELCX, uh, uh, you know, uh, good luck on that. It's looking like you guys are making some tracks. So uh, we'll, we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and... Uh, uh, we'll keep an eye on it uh but uh you always got to remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and uh you always got to do what's right for you uh if we do get some etc dip uh severe sale action we're definitely got these lower numbers on the table though you we definitely got to throw those out there so uh 229.97 and uh 146.64 so uh but if alcx has some fu money it's just basically gonna get keep going so let's see what that that's i'm interested to see where it goes so let's keep an eye on it uh let's take a look at uh, lcx lcx is down to 16 cents btc really had had a pretty good pull on that but we did you know we we were looking towards these lower prices you know we were checking the 786 at 0.177 uh we definitely put these prices uh 0.1397 table and uh, i'm pretty sure we probably went a little bit lower yes we did we did go to 0 0.0320 so i put that on the table as well so we definitely got to keep an eye on those low prices there and uh, as far as uh, breakout action to the top we still got that uh, point what is that about uh, point three one four zero as far as the next moves up so let's keep an eye on that definitely could just you know get some uh, sideways action once it gets back over the 786 uh, support so uh definitely keep an eye on lcx keep an eye on btc and uh i will do a follow-up video tomorrow for being lcx good luck uh let's take a look at xlm 
Nextel M looks like it got affected definitely brought it under the 786 but those are some sales price targets that we did have put up yesterday so we did hit those and uh you know that that's you know these are just price actions that we've been looking for so it did come under the 786 at 0.27 definitely excited about this 0.24 and I did put on some lower prices you know 0.17 which would be some amazing sale prices which I'm definitely looking for right there because that is just an amazing price on XLM so uh but you always remember this is not financial advice these are reviews and opinions on the market only and you always have to do what's right for you so definitely excited about some awesome sale action right there and uh but does it go that low that remains to be seen we're gonna find out here soon we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow so uh uh, we'll catch up with everybody and all the coins here tomorrow. And uh, uh, y'all's uh, good luck. And uh, y'all's have a good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good morning. Mr. Big Braids is signing out.